Hello everyone. Um, here's uh, my video on copper pot antipod um, culture and also brine shrimp culture. I decided to do a quick video. Uh, I didn't see too many on, on the net, so uh, nothing fancy here. So that's a wonderful target container. Uh, I think it's made for files. Anyway, um, I created my culture of pot in there. Uh, I use corrugated plastic sheet that I cut and create those kind of little tail that you see. Um, I glue them together and also glue a suction cup at the bottom of it so it doesn't float. It can actually stick to the bottom. And when I need to add pot to my main tank, I just remove one of those little tails, shake it in the main tank, and then I have hundreds of pods going into the main tank. Um, and then continue on. So um, I just maintain, you know, my population about the same all the time. Uh, when it starts to have a lot of pods, I shake one of those hotel into my main tank and I rebalance, you know, the population. So they are quite active right now. I just feed them a few minutes ago. And this is my brine shrimp container on the left um, that I'll show you in a second. So here's the pod again. Uh, I feed the pod with uh, flake food, so flake, fish food, whatever you have, not a big deal. Pods are mainly meat eater. They are, uh, yes, they eat uh, algae, but uh, they prefer uh, meat-based food, uh, at least to my knowledge. And they love the flake. It doesn't seem to be a problem. I have no problem to raise them with flake. And time to time, I will uh, put um, some phytoplankton in it. Uh, not very often though. Um, so that's the setup. Uh, I have no water heater. Um, it's pretty much room temperature. They are, um, the pods are pretty tough. So they can survive in many different kind of environment. So nothing fancy. Uh, I normally have um, air pump in that container to move the water a little bit. So that's the only thing missing right now that I removed before the video. But the uh, simple uh, air pump with a tube going into it, you will see that in my brine shrimp tank. Um, so here are the pod. And here's the brine shrimp uh, container. Those uh, brine shrimp are about five years old. It's not the container I used to uh, hatch them, obviously. But after the 24 to 36 hour it takes me to hatch the eggs, um, I put the brine shrimp in this container. I'll try to focus here and let you see. You'll see there's thousands and thousands of brine shrimp. Very little, only five days are near five days old. I'll say it. Um, so I feed them with uh, some uh, spirulina powder. So it's a uh, algae, um, dry algae. So and again, I don't have any water eater in that container. It's room temperature and uh, my room temperature is about 72 degrees uh, Fahrenheit on a daily basis. Um, it will go up to 76, 77 during the day and 72 at night. So again, nothing fancy. Here's the food I'm using. You can Eat it yourself. It's a superfood. It's good for human consumption as well. As well. Um, so I just use that. I put like a pinch, really a pinch, every other day uh, in that container. Uh, no more than that. And probably the first five days, I only put a pinch of that powder in there. And as they grow, I start to increase the food a little bit. But I don't want to spoil the water. The water is good for the time to raise them, so about a month. And after that, it's a full water change. Uh, once the brine shrimp are adult, I just um, you know, filter them in a net and put them in the new water and feed them to the fish and start a new batch. I know there's not much uh, you know, nutriment. Uh, I do it for fun uh, and the fish love to chase them around. So that's why, same thing with the pod. I don't have any mandarin. Uh, I don't 
don't think my culture is big enough to sustain uh, Dragonet or Mandarin, but I'm practicing. And eventually, if I really get uh, good and my population increase to a few thousand, you know, I might try it out. But for now, I'm just, you know, learning and observing and trying to figure out the best way to do it. But so far, so good. Um, I guess if I had a bigger container, I probably can raise more pie. So that's how it is. If you have any question, uh, feel free to comment. I will try to answer. Uh, but very simple, two container, no water heater, room temperature, clay food for a pod, spirulina powder for the brine shrimp, and voila, have fun.